so I have touched down here at the Cullinan Hotel in Turkey, in Belek. I flew into Antalya, flight was okay. Four hours long from Dubai, so it wasn't too bad. Didn't get much sleep at all, but I'm here, I've arrived, and this place is insane. Like, you've got the hotel behind me, you've got the two golf courses I'll be playing right here, literally directly opposite the hotel. It is madness. My mum and dad have both been to Turkey and they've said like the hotels are mega out here. Like they are huge, they've got everything you need in the hotels and literally all in a strip, they all are the same. I said to mum, I was like, I've never been to Las Vegas but I feel like walking into Las Vegas, like, like MGM, right? And you have like a bowling alley here, you've got like a casino, you've got obviously your bloody golf courses, you've got every single restaurant under the sun is here in this hotel. I don't think I need to even go anywhere else. But, oh my gosh, arrived very, very early this morning, waited a few hours just to check into my room. First thing they say, we've upgraded you, Liv. I was like, okay, amazing, cool. Open the door and I'm in a swim up pool, lagoon room, whatever you want to call it. Oh my God, it is absolutely mental. So I will give you a little room tour. Anyway, I forgot to say, I'm here for the Golf Mad Pro-Am. Good old Simon Dyson actually invited me. We're here for a whole week. I go back on the 10th, so next Sunday. So yeah, it's gonna be a really, really good fun week. And I believe I'm playing with the owner of Cullinan Hotels. So, got a good group. So anyway, take you on my journeys. And I'll basically show you around this beautiful hotel, the golf courses, everything I'm getting up to. And yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm gonna take you on a little tour of this amazing hotel. see more videos like this guys let me know because I'm super keen to go and take you and tour you around these wonderful golf resorts play some golf and yeah bring you a little insight into what it's like at some of these places morning everyone it is the first day of the long week we have it is practice round today so i'm meeting my team we are playing the aspendos course i believe i think hopefully that's correct so we're playing the aspendos course today tomorrow we have a little texas scramble which is just like a little mini tournament before the main tournament which starts the following day we have three days worth of pro-am. Hopefully we come out on top, but we will see. And I will take you to the golf course in a little while, show you around and uh, yeah, show you how amazing this golf course is. So I will see you there.
right, so th it's a bit of a weird one today. I'm joined by Simon Dyson, who didn't have his team that here already, so he's joined our group. But I'm also along here playing with four other people. So we're currently playing in a six ball, but it's okay because uh, we're playing with the owner of the resort. So I guess he makes up his own rules. But yeah, this course is gorgeous. But yeah, it should be a good week. Perfect shot, perfect shot, okay. it's okay, yeah? <laughs> Good morning guys, so it is day two here and um, I've just sat down for lunch. So it's actually not morning, it's afternoon. So afternoon guys, <laughs> I'm having a Caesar salad, which actually looks really nice. And uh, I'm just waiting on my team to arrive. So I was actually meant to be teeing off at 11.57. But now I've been pushed back to two o'clock and all the field will be in um, and then I'll still be out on the golf course <laughs> until this evening. But anyway, we're playing in a Texas scramble today, uh, which will be super cool. Like to recap on yesterday, that was really, really good. The golf courses here are basically set up to be a little bit easier for, I'd say, the average amateur. Um, so if you're coming here and you've, you've, you've just started golf or you're still getting used to playing on a golf course, then this guy is, is definitely for you. There are a few tricky holes out there, so pros that are watching this, like, you'll really enjoy it as well. Both of the courses are gorgeous. I actually played the front nine of one yesterday and the front nine of the other course yesterday, so still haven't played the back nines. I believe I will be playing a whole golf course today. So. I will show you around when I get out there and uh, yeah, should be another good day. Morning everyone. So it is the third day here at the Cullinan in Belek. I have woken up to the sound of thunder and lightning. Oh my God, it was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. I wish I got up to see the lightning, uh, but I was too out of it to even open my eyes. So today's, thank goodness, today's, today, uh, I'm not playing golf in the competition. The first round is today, but half of the field are playing today. Myself, I was playing tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, Friday and Saturday are the uh, game days. But if the weather is a little bit better later, myself and Simon are going to be shooting a little nine hole video over the night golf course. And I'm super excited about that because I've heard it's really, really good here. Um, so hopefully we don't look like drowned rats during this video later this evening. So yeah, hopefully it goes to plan. But I've heard that all of the shopping places here in Turkey are unbelievable. So if you want any of like your fake designers, <laughs> we're gonna go there and we're gonna try and get some goodies. So we're gonna head over there today about one o'clock and I'll let you guys know how good that is. I'll show you some videos and yeah, give you a little insight into the, um, the fake designer outlets that are here so anyway i'll take you on my travels today but yeah chilled one i'm gonna go to the gym we're actually shooting a little video in the gym for a tpi session i'm gonna have for myself simon's gonna give it to me yeah we'll see where my weaknesses lie so stay tuned for that video <music> everybody um sorry i didn't reveal all yesterday i actually didn't do much i went shopping and i don't think you really want to see all of that so um here i am on the first day of the competition we are playing the olympus course today and i personally think it's the best course out of the two uh i think for you amateurs watching i think it may be the easier golf course as well i think that's why i like it it's quite open and it's more scenic, so you actually go along the coast, which is absolutely gorgeous. So today we, what are we doing? We're in a pro-am, obviously, and it's the two best Stableford scores out of the four of us. 
I have a stroke play competition out of the pros. <clears throat> I believe I'm the only female pro playing in this, so that's great. Um, but we will see how I do. I will again show you the golf course today and I'll let you know how I get on and how my team get on. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in with you in a minute. good golf on the front nine today it started to get colder it started to get slower and uh yeah the body clearly seized up a little bit because the back nine wasn't as good but the course was amazing my group was great i really enjoyed it it was a five and a half hour round which obviously like every pro-am is very similar so i can't complain about that but i think when you're just waiting all the time and you're not in the right rhythm um things just go to pot a little bit but it was really good i think we had 88 points which i think is actually very good i don't know where we are on the leaderboard as of yet my individual score was okay <laughs> single figures so we're all right um but it could have been better like i said like front nine was great back nine not so great but yeah i think the tire just just kicked in so I'm pulling out all the excuses. Uh, but yeah, very, very good day. Tomorrow, we have another round. I'm teeing off, I think, around nine o'clock. But there are thunderstorms again. So we may not be playing, uh, which means we'll be playing on Saturday and it will only be a two-day pro-am now, not three. So I wake up tomorrow, see how the weather is. And in the meantime, I'm going to go and grab myself some dinner. So good night, guys, and I'll see you in the morning. <music> everybody so i have woken up and it is currently nearly nine o'clock so it's already 10 minutes past my tea time first of all it's still thunder and lightning i think it's going to be called off there's already a 30 minute delay uh secondly my team haven't even arrived so that is great uh so if they don't arrive i'll be playing on my own i will be filming some content for you guys instead of playing in the second day of the program However, I do think it will be called off. So I guess they're still lapping up in bed at the minute, <laughs> which is where I should be, but I'm not. I'm gonna go out if they don't arrive. I'm gonna film some holes for you. Oh, that was a big strike of lightning. And um, I'm gonna get some practice in because I definitely need it. But I will, uh, I'll let you know how it goes in the next 30 minutes. Firstly, to see if my team have arrived. And secondly, to see how bad this thunder and lightning is but um but anyway i'll get back to you soon morning um i do apologize for yesterday i didn't really give you a little outro to my day but basically we went out for one hole we went back in we we, we then went out for 17 holes and we finished thank goodness well some other groups actually didn't finish because we were indoors for that long because of the storm but anyway we finished we did all right as a team again which was quite good i played better than the first day which is good today is the final day of the pro-am and we are playing the olympus course which is the one we played on the first day i'm actually torn between the two courses now because i played the whole of um a spendos yesterday and i actually thought it was gorgeous at the back nine is the floodlit nine and I really enjoyed playing that. But yeah, we're teeing off in about 10 minutes and hopefully we do really well again today and come out on top. But I will uh, I'll let you know how we do at the end. We have a little gala dinner tonight just to sort of say bye to everyone and do all the prize giving and everything. Yeah, home time tomorrow. So I will let you know how we get on later today.
breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, it's 12.30 p.m. I've already finished and I teed off at half nine. No, I didn't. Teed off at nine, 10 past nine, in a four ball. We played the back nine in one hour. I literally have no words. I can't play golf like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, it's done. The pram is done. I've had the most amazing time. The golf, my side, has not been great, but as a team, we I think we've done really well. I have a gala dinner tonight uh, for prizes and everything else. And then home time tomorrow, which I'm excited about. So I... <laughs> Oh, I'm going to try and enjoy my night, chill, and yeah, I'll check back in with you in a little while. Cheers. Okay, so it's gala dinner time, and I'm just about to walk into the venue, and we will check it all out. Just right here. Right behind me, it's so gorgeous. All dolled up, and uh, let's see what we got for dinner. just talk to you in the mornings guys um so it's my last day today recapping on last night it was such a good event i loved it had great performers the food was unbelievable i may have won a prize <laughs> i will show you the trophy when i get back in but today i thought it was gonna be my chill day it's now not my chill day because uh simon dyson's group has asked me to play with them today so i'm gonna have a quick round I am gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna chill before I have to get my transfer back to the airport to fly back to Dubai, which I'm super excited about because it's been a really long week, but it has been amazing and I can't wait to do, I can't wait to do more. How beautiful is this guys? And it's just my luck that the day we're leaving, it's warm. <laughs> right. Onwards and upwards. Six rounds of golf <laughs> was a long slog this week. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think the last time I played pretty much six rounds of golf in a row was when I was about 15. It was hard work. Uh, but anyway... The week is over. I've had an amazing week. The golf courses were unbelievable. The hotel was insane. The room was amazing. The food was just next level. <laughs> I've literally eaten my body weight in food every single day. And to top it off, we won a prize. We won Spendos Golf Course Team Winner. Woo! So at least we're going home with something. And uh, I'm just getting ready to leave the hotel room to make my way to the airport to have my four hour flight back to Dubai to go and see my boyfriend. It's been a long week. Been a long week without him. I don't, actually don't know how he's coped. But anyway, we will uh, we'll see how dirty the house is and see what a mess he's left it in. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave now. Thank you so much to Golf Mad for having me. I'm super excited for the next one in February. Yeah, it's been a wicked week. Simon Dyson, thank you for the invite. Uh, I've had a wicked week with you as well. And yeah, thank you to Cullinan and thank you to everybody else that was involved in this amazing event. And yeah, I'm excited for more with Golf Mad. So I will definitely be back in Turkey, I believe in February for the next one. Also, just a quick one. For those of you that haven't been here that want to visit, that don't know what the courses are like, what the hotel's like, I really hope you found this video insightful. Um, I hope you want to see more of this um, on my channel. All I've got to say is, out of majority of people I've spoken to that are here in Turkey, that live in Turkey and that have been in to Turkey for on holidays um, for the last many years, 
years. They are now saying that the Cullinan is the best hotel in Turkey, in Belek even. Uh, and the golf courses are second to none. So they're not too difficult. They're not long at all. So those of you amateurs that are watching that don't hit the ball that far, like this resort is going to be perfect for you. So I highly recommend it. I don't think you can beat a hotel like this, uh, especially if you have the room that I've had with the pool. It was beautiful. If you are coming to Turkey to do other stuff other than play golf, I can't answer that question for you because I don't actually know what there is because I haven't really ventured out that much. I've done a bit of shopping, uh, but that's about it. So yeah, check out someone else's vlog for that. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Uh, but anyway, I'm leaving and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.